Hey guys, how you going? My name's Carnage. Welcome back to another Boom Beach video. In today's video, I got two really cool task force attacks to show you. Um, the first one is going to be this one. Yep. Uh, we got Hamlin, which has been in the our five man for a little while now. Um, pretty much since we started it. And I will show you the task force uh tag and stuff like that at the end of the video um, but as you can see he's got a really good boost here um, and he's attacking high five so we'll pause the video um, this is high five if you've never seen it um, we did sabotage a little bit basically this stuff back here was uh, sniper towers um, the reason why we sabotaged was because we were full on intel. We were maxed out and had to spend it on something, so no sense in wasting it. So we sabotaged. Didn't really do much for the operation, I must say. It didn't change much. These were boom cannons. So this is the standard layout for it, but it was a bit easier because this sniper in the back here is usually a rocket. So. As you can see, smoking the beach, landing those Zookas the same way you normally would. Uh, but that boat at the end was pretty badly timed, and that will cost him a couple of Zookas. Um, but the time between the shock launchers actually hitting, they were targeting the ones closest to the smoke, and because they were going into the smoke, they couldn't target his Zookas fast enough, so that's why they didn't fire. Um, so that was well done. He did save that pretty well. Uh, so now he's got to deal with the back shock launcher, which would have been his biggest threat. Because he can destroy the one closest, he didn't really need to spend too much time with that. Um, the one thing I would say here is, I'd be scared of those mines, killing all my Zookas. Um, but he obviously didn't think that was too much of a problem. But doing a fantastic job though, just clearing everything out. So he's flaring up the top there, just to get away from that one boom cannon. And he could see that that shock launcher had a bit of range on him too, so... Wanting to spend every bit of time he can to take down that shield's uh, health all the way. So we'll just speed this up. Because it's just going to be pounding away on the HQ. There's no sense watching it in one times. But this is a really good attack, I felt. Not anyone can solo high five on this sort of layout. Uh, as I said though, that rocket wasn't there. But in that case, rather than barraging the shock launcher, you'd barrage the rocket, and then you'd have to shock the shock launcher, and sort of have the flare in the middle of the of the two. So you just let them sort of Yazuka sort of pound everything away. Um, but now we go into today's operation, and we got a guy that joined yesterday. Um, his name is Sergeant Major Scream. And he took on Centaur. Now, if you remember my last video I posted on Task Force Attacks, I did have a solo for Centaur. But today we actually got a much harder operation version of it. And this guy did it, wow, very well. So, you can see he has probably what is a full boost for him here. Um, which is absolutely fantastic to see. It's always nice to see someone full boosting. Um, but if you look at his troops he selected, he's got three boats of Scorchers, one boat of Zookas, and then four boats of Tanks. You'd normally never see that, so at this point you're probably wondering what his thought was with that one boat of Zookas. So, we'll look at the base here. We've got a shield that's probably about two or three million health, I'd probably say about 3 million upwards. Um, although I didn't get to see it, so I couldn't exactly tell you. Um, we've got 4 rockets here, 
We've got a laser beam and a shock blaster, some boom cannons there, a ton of snipers and machine guns. Um, and we got some shields around the place as well, so... Uh, yeah, so that was... That's a pretty interesting uh, situation to be in. He was confident that he could get the solo, so... Um, he drops one boat of Zookas. And I thought this was genius. I would have never thought to use one boat of Zookas and spend that GBE early just to take out the shields. I wouldn't have been game enough to do that, personally. I would have tried to let my uh, troops de just destroy it where, where they were, so... Yeah, so he's taken out these shields which is going to reduce it by half health. Yeah. So that's going to bring it to around 1.5 million, I think, in the worst case scenario. That sounds about right, I think. Yeah. So let's speed this up a bit. This is pretty standard procedure, I think. Uh, so he's flaring up behind the shield generators. And now he's going to attempt to take out the shields completely. Yeah, so he's taken out the shields completely now. Now the up, now the operation, uh, the the core really only has about probably four hundred thousand, I think. I think that's about how much they have on their own. Maybe a bit more. I don't know. So he's made his he's made a nice way down here now, taking out a couple buildings along the way. But he's got four rockets, a ton of mortars to go, and this one little boom cannon here, which is going to attempt to make some threats for him. He's also barraged one of the boom cannons out and has attempted to take out a second. So he's just saving up some GBE now to just to take that one boom cannon out. So he's just dropped his artillery. And he's fallen just a bit short. And this is going to... At this point... It's just a matter of time. Crossing the fingers and hoping that you can take it out. Because he's out of GBE... Now all the barraging and artillery he has spent to try to take it out has went to waste. He obviously thought he'd just be able to take it out, but he obviously not, so... Let's see if he... We, we know he does it because you guys seen before he finished... Before I pressed the attack button to view it, that he did in fact destroy it, so... We'll just four times it. And these tanks... Look at that. He destroys the core, and those tanks are almost dead. Almost dead. He would not have survived much longer. But that was, I felt that was a really cool solo. I don't know if I could have done that. I would have been really, really worried about doing that, so... Two really cool solos on some bases that are probably on the highest end of Mambo. That's like the hardest of stuff that you can expect from um, this operation level, I think. And being a five man, um, this really gets you into like the top 50. It maxes you out at 9,000 uh, force points, which is cool. Uh, but this is our task force, guys. Um, I haven't really announced this yet, but I made a five-man task force a little while ago. Um, I think we're going back maybe like a month, I think. Oh no, exactly two weeks ago. Um, we've done really well since. We got some members, um, spent a little bit up and down, but I'll show you guys our success. So, we lost two members in a row. Um, we actually lost one of our members, and as a result, we only had four attacks, so... Um, last Mambo, 
we simply we simply failed that one. This one we would have beat if our fifth member hadn't have uh, hadn't have left. So we did. We look at all the others here. We got one, two, three, four. Uh, four successful mambos. And then you can see we are sort of trying to find our bearings at the start. Trying to figure out what we could take out, what we couldn't. So we beat Tank Tango and Powder Keg successfully. We moved up to Mambo, that was a problem. Went to Powder Keg again, that was good. And then we wanted to see how strong we were because we, we finally had a solid team together. So we really wanted to see what everything was like. And now we finally found our bearings. And it looks like we can do Mambo successfully every single time now. So, uh, yeah. So, that's our situation. That's the task force, guys. Um, if you guys want to join, um, I'll definitely make a video telling you guys the task force needs a new member or something like that. And if you guys want to join, you're always welcome to. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Two cool solo attacks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.